What Makes You Feel Beautiful. We're a 501c3 female empowerment organization on Maui that empowers girls and women to love themselves. And today I have the pleasure and opportunity to be here interviewing Savannah Gangwick. And she is uh, What Makes You Feel Beautiful's ambassador. And she's also our new fly facilitator. So Savannah, can you please just share a little bit about yourself? Of course. Hi, I, my name is Savannah Gankowitz and I am a resident in Maui, Kihei. I'm a Kihei girl at heart and um, I'm here because I am an ambassador of what makes you feel beautiful and and I'm so excited to be on this journey with Monica and meeting all the wonderful women within this organization. First, can you tell everyone how you learned about what makes you feel beautiful and why did you seek out to be its ambassador? Yeah, of course. You know, I was actually looking for a nonprofit. I really wanted to work with something that was close to my heart and it was always something about cultivating self-love and helping younger women find that self-love because I have younger siblings and I always want to help them I always want to be a role model to younger women and so that's exactly why I am working with what makes you feel beautiful and I feel so lucky and grateful Wow, Savannah, we are lucky to have you working with what makes you feel beautiful um since you've been um, our ambassador, we have already seen you grow. We've seen the women's lives that you've touched and you've already done a lot of training. You are already a certified uh, fly facilitator and you have a workshop coming up. You have two workshops coming up in February. Uh, one is February 4th and the other one is, is it February 19th, Savannah? February 16th to the 18th. February 16th through the 18th. So the one that's in person is your target audience and it's girls ages 14 to 17. And we will post um, where you can sign up for Savannah's workshop. You come into this life with words. We have your story posted on our website. And in your story, you talked about your journey as an international model. What has been, what has that experience um, taught you? Yeah, you know, I've been modeling for a really long time since I was 20 years old. And I immersed myself in that workforce at such a young age. And I think constantly, you know, being judged by my by my beauty standards or having a lot of rejection and disappointments, it really put me down and I didn't have that self-love for myself. So this is exactly why I've been with what makes you feel beautiful. And I want to help younger women because I know what it feels like to always feel rejected, to always feel when you look in the mirror, you're not good enough. And I think it really just all starts from within. And that's something that I'm very passionate about. Yeah. Thank you. What are you most thankful for? Well, I'm most uh, thankful, honestly, for the health of my family, especially my grandpa. I'm so thankful for the, his health because he actually was diagnosed with stage four cancer um, a couple years ago, and he didn't tell the family. Hear that. Oh, no, it's, it's okay. I have good news. So, and just recently during Thanksgiving, he told the whole family. He said, "Everyone has to be at my house for Thanksgiving," and we all showed up and he said, I am cancer free for two years. I've been fighting cancer by myself and I wanted to do it alone with a strong mindset. So I'm just so thankful for the health of my family. Wow. What strength for your grandfather. Yeah. So thank you for sharing that story. <laughs> you are a huge advocate for wellness, right? And um, what are some of the ways that you um, that you do personally for self-care or what are just some of the ways that you honor yourself? 
Yeah, I'm such a firm believer in self care. And it's actually something that I taught myself the few for the past few years. And it really is wellness. I'm a huge advocate for wellness, because moving your body, feeling good, getting those endorphins up is so important. And for me, it's always drinking a glass of water as soon as I wake up in the morning, and it, going for a walk or doing a workout, there's nothing good than like, telling yourself to get to the gym or go for a walk and just feeling good. So that's just part of my self-care routine. I have to do it every day because it's something that makes me happy. Yeah, it sounds invigorating. I know self-care for everyone is about finding what works for you, but here's to you, Savannah, that it sounds so invigorating. (laughs) What makes you feel beautiful? We always talk about in our workshops and groups, we talk about core values. Having core values, that's even more important than your knowing your goals. And we wanna teach women and girls to really identify with what their core values are. So what are your three top core values? Yeah, of course, my personal core core values is really being compassionate towards myself and towards anyone in my life, being kind and and being always showing honesty no matter what and being loyal. That's actually four. So, yeah, those are my core values that I tr- like hold true to my heart and that I use every single day. Who inspires you and why do they inspire you? Well, I would have to say you inspire me just as much, but I have to say my my mother, you know, she is the reason why I've even joined pageantry to begin with because she was a pageant mom and she was Mrs. Maui and she was a state director and she inspires me because she makes me believe that I can reach for my dreams just as much as I can. And I'm so happy that I have a mom like her who's so caring and strong for me and it's just, it's great. I'm my mom's best friend. Oh, I love that. What is your mom's name? Her name is Evian Peterson. Evian? She was born, yeah, Evian. Evian. She was born oh. in Maui, raised in Maui, Maui girl at heart. Oh, let's celebrate Evian. What a wonderful sentiment you just said for your mom. And let's just take a moment and celebrate her. <laughs> In yourself, your dreams are in range. Let's start this journey, girl. Your life's about to change. What makes you feel beautiful? I really want to know. What makes your heart sing? Well, what makes my heart sing? It's it's really the little things in life. Um, it's taking out my dog Mello for walks, especially during sunset. Nothing makes me happier than coming home from work and spending quality time with him. You know that I just love being outside, walking while the sun's setting, and just saying hi to my neighbors. It just really fills my heart with joy, and it's it's just really the little things in life. Your target audience with girls are ages 14 to 17 in that area. And what is your message to them? Well, because I have younger siblings, that's why I always want to work close to young girls because I'm always trying to inspire and help my younger my younger sisters as well. Um, and really the message I always tell my siblings, which I want to tell most girls, is what matters is inner beauty. Inner beauty is power. And I just want to emphasize that, that that is what's important more than outer beauty and what we live in today as beauty standards. Yeah, that's a great message. Yeah. Yeah, I wish I had that message growing up too, Savannah. So same, I wish exactly. That's why I it it I hold it so close to my heart with inner beauty and emphasizing that because I never had that when I was young. I I solely based everything off of how I looked, and that was because I didn't know what self love was. I didn't know what self care was. That's why I love this organization because it's teaching younger girls what that is, so they can carry on life, not feeling those emotions. Yeah. yeah. Let's talk about the way we feel, so that we all can grow. When women come, well, if I had this power, I would definitely choose 
to heal people, you know, mental health, it plays such a big role, not only in adults, but in adolescents. And it makes me sad to hear how much suicide is happening, which it being the second leading cause of death in America. So if I had the power, I would definitely be the power to heal people, to heal people's mind, to heal their soul, because I think everyone deserves to be happy and happy in their body. Yeah. I know that you have a beautiful life and that you're just happy. You've had a lot of experiences. You've traveled the world all over and uh, with your modeling and um, you were able to just experience a lot of, of life and a lot of things and you had many opportunities. But when you think about all of that, uh, tell us about one struggle that you went through and how you got over that, what was how you overcame that thing, that struggle. Yeah. With with traveling, you know, it was, it was a struggle. I I left home at at such a young age so I can focus on my, my modeling career. I moved when I was 21 to the Philippines all the way from home. And I'm such a homebody. I love being home. I love being around my family. So it was such a struggle for me to be away from my, my backbone, the people who support me and doing traveling by myself, you know, at such a young age, it was hard. It was definitely hard bouncing from place to place, living in hotel to hotel and check to check. And um, yeah, that was a struggle in itself, but I don't regret it because it's made me who I am today. And I'm so happy and so grateful that I got to experience the world and I'm still experiencing the world. But yeah, that was, that was one of my big struggles is not being able to have my family and always self-doubting myself. Like, what am I doing? Why am I doing I am half Filipina. So I thought, you know, immersing myself in my culture would really bring me close to my grandparents and especially my mom because my grandparents moved from the Philippines uh, when my mom, before my mom was born. And I just really wanted to know what my Filipino culture was. So I started my mom career there first. Yeah. Yeah. Well, even though there was a little struggle in that, you still were able to immerse yourself in part of your culture and what is your supergirl power? You know, my supergirl power is, is being able to make everyone feel good. I think it, that is just my personality. I love making whoever, it's my friends, my siblings, my family, anyone who meets me, I love to compliment them. I love to make them feel good because nothing like means the most to me than seeing someone smile. So that would have to be my supergirl power. <laughs> making others feel good is a great supergirl power. I like that. When you think about what life is calling you to do right now, what do you think that is? You know, funny you say that because today I was actually thinking about like, what is my purpose? Like what, what brings me joy? Because I thought it was modeling and I was doing it, but it didn't fill me with purpose and it didn't make me feel like I was helping anyone. To me, I feel like I was just making other women not feel good enough, you know, and it's something that I didn't really, it didn't bring me joy anymore. So Mm -hmm. really it's helping people. It's being a role model and it's inspiring other others to reach for their dreams, to believe in themselves, to look in the mirror and say like, I'm proud of you. I love you. And that's something that we don't usually do. Right. And that's exactly why I um, join Miss Hawaii because I think it's amazing that I can have that platform to be able to spread awareness, to use my voice. And not only that, bring my advocacy, which is what makes you feel beautiful, not only to Maui, but all across Hawaii. It's so important to me. Yeah. Yes. And um, that's perfect because you are segueing into the last part of our interview. You are running for Miss Hawaii. And I am so proud of you and at what makes you feel beautiful. We're, we're proud of you. We're rooting for you. Um, we are holding you in the, the best light that you have the best possible experience on this journey. And that is fun. And that is fun. <laughs> ask you like, what, why did you decide to compete? Yeah, well, you know, I thought I was done with pageantry as well five years ago when I did a pageant, a huge pageant in the Philippines. And I was like, okay, mm-hmm. I did it. You know, I've, I've done it. But, you know, I came back five years later and I just 
kept listening to my heart, my intuition, like, Hey, you should really do Miss Hawaii. Just give it a shot. Like I was following the omens, you know, and yeah. that's why I love the book, The Alchemist. It was about following your omens, listening to your person legend. And I truly believe like not even winning Miss Hawaii, but doing this journey of Miss Hawaii, I was supposed to do because it, that's what it's about. It's about the journey. And oh, I have been. Yeah, I've, I've gained amazing life skills, which is like communication. And I made really good friends and connection. But it was really, I wanted to get better at talking. I wanted to have that experience. Yes. And I'm just so grateful that I did it. Like, no matter what the outcome is, I'm just so happy I made the yes. friends. I, I've gained a lot of experience and I'm just so ready for the pageant. I'm so ready for Miss Hawaii. So when when is the pageant? Yeah, so um, the final pageant is January 15th at 7 p.m., but we have preliminaries January 12th as well. And it's really just ev it's um, evening gown and swimsuit, but the whole pageant is interview, swimsuit, evening gown, and onstage question. So yeah. I have been practicing my questions and just, you know, brushing up on what the current events. That's what mm -hmm. I love about pageantry. You really get to uh immerse yourself in like news and what's going on in the world what would winning miss hawaii mean to you wow well if i got the chance to win miss hawaii it's just a goal it's a dream of mine and it's something that i want to take so far i want to continue the legacy of miss hawaii and that really is being able to help the betterment of my community especially taking my nonprofit with me what makes you feel beautiful and helping younger women flourish and succeed and find ways to succeed and find their inner goddess because that's what it means to me like i just want to help uplift and make women feel powerful and i know i could do that with miss hawaii Thank you so much for just taking the time today because I know you are preparing. You are just days away from flying out to Oahu to compete in the pageant. And uh, we're rooting for you. And I thank you for today, Savannah. And let me know if there's anything I can do for you. And we'll see you when you get back. Thank you so much for this interview. Thank you, Monica. Thank you for having me. Come together, there ain't nothing we can't do. Let's motivate to elevate self love in me and you. Put down. What's your supergirl power? Oh, that's a good one. Okay. <laughs> My supergirl power would have to be to fly, you know. I, <laughs> some, I it's like a weird thing about me. So, yeah, you I can fly. <laughs> Oh, I meant like actually pick a supergirl power or like supergirl, like actual I'm a supergirl. What's your what's your, what's your real supergirl power? Um, real supergirl power. I thought yeah. like if I had to pick up supergirl power, what would it be? Yeah. Um, okay. Oh my god, that makes so much sense. Okay, my bad. Okay. Ready? <laughs> like, yeah, I can fly.